Третий бой сегодняшнего вечера. Весовая категория свыше 80 килограммов. В красный угол ринга выбирается боец из России. Измолвляем. Максим Бонтов. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the third fight of the evening, 80 plus kilograms. It's time for big guns to appear in the ring. Max Bolotov from Moldova. Каждый бой стремится что-то делить. Вот, он, конечно, уверен в своей победе. Это нормально. Когда каждый боец, он уверен в себе. Мне нравится здесь ваша казанская публика, нравится турнир, соперники достойные, поэтому готов сражаться с каждым. Привет, Казань. Я снова с вами, снова здесь. И поэтому сегодня мы с вами зажгем как следует. I do really like this tournament, says Max Bolotov. I do really like uh, people here, so I'm gladly came here once again. And, uh, uh, in the 2016, Max, and look at this, look at this dancing, because Max Bolotov is not only a professional fighter, he is also a professional DJ. And I'm not joking, ladies and gentlemen, he plays in nightclubs and... Uh, I, I don't know how does he, how can he uh, uh, do uh, that two different professionals, professions. So, Max Bolotov took part in 2016 at the Tottenham World Cup and uh, uh, he defeated the... Uh, he passed the first stage and actually we lost in the quarterfinal, but he became the first Moldavian fighter ever to win a bout at this tournament. 32 years old, 106 kilograms, 184 centimeters tall. Facing styles are Taekwondo, kickboxing and boxing. You're a European champion in Taekwondo. Uh, the world champion in kickboxing in 2011. And his opponent, an extremely experienced Konstantin Glukov from Latvia. Konstantin uh, Glukhov says that uh, I know, uh, he knows that he has a lot of uh, supporters in Russia and he's definitely sure that we, they will support him today. 36 years old, 112 kilograms and 188 centimeters tall. Fighting styles are Muay Thai, kickboxing and MMA. Uh, he used to fight at the K1 Grand Prix in Latvia, where he became a champion. He won the K1 Grand Prix in Istanbul in 2010. Uh, he used to win several fights in MMA, but we remember his last fights, and actually he didn't do well. We remember how Totni Rogabo, the ex-TMA World Cup champion, knocked him out. By the way, Konstantin Glukov, as far as you could see, has the karate background. An extremely experienced fighter, 51 fights, 41 win. 24 came by the way of knockout and none losses and one draw. Konstantin Glukov, Latvia, Veratriga, Glukov Arpadzin, Glukov, 38 years. Yes, 111 kilograms, Glukov, 188 meters. Steel, Muay Thai kickboxing MMA, Champion Grand Prix K1 Latvia 2018, Champion Grand Prix K1 Stambul 2010.
лапами. Да? Без локтей. Пах внимательно, спину не атакуем. Приготовились. So here we go. A heavyweight division. Константин Глухов versus Макс Болотов. By the way, Max Bolotov wanted to get into the Moldavian national boxing team and actually and even he tried to pass the qualification tournament, but he was stopped in the uh, in the semi-final. Heavy shots from Konstantin Gluhov. He's got a lot of power in his fists. He's got uh, a very good experience. So practically the same we can say about uh, Max Bolotov. Oh, what a swing by Max, uh, by Konstantin Lukov. And here goes the X kick from Max Bolotov, remembering his Taekwondo background. A head kick by Max Bolotov. Double jab, good low kick from Moldavian fighter. I remember Max Bolotov actually on also his fight against uh, Colin George. Oh, nice push kick by Moldavian fighter. I remember Max Bolotov fighting against Colin George and it was a sensational loss uh, because actually uh, Mike Passanier's student, well, he's being beaten by everybody, but uh, actually Max Bolotov didn't find his luck there. Uh, Max Bolotov also uh, fights often in the KOK Grand Prix, the King of the Kings tournament. And uh, he even, uh, uh, as far as I remember, he fought in the championship Grand Prix, but he lost in the semi-final as far as, far as I remember. Uh, Max Bolotov has a good amateur background, and as for Konstantin Gluchov, he's more professional fighter. So far, we don't see any clean shots from both sides. And a good, good combinations by Max Bolotov. And I think that he uses legs too much. I mean the high kicks, because high kicks um, are... Uh, because high kicks make you lose powers. I hope that uh, Max Bolotov prepared well for this tournament. And it's a groin hit. Groin hit by the Latvian fighter. So Max Bolotov needs some time to recover after that. Here we go. Max Bolotov is all right. And the fight continues. A body shot from Konstantin. Three punch combination from Gluchov. Here comes forward Max Bolotov and another head kick from the right. And a good spinning back kick by Moldavian fighter to the body. 30 seconds to go. So far, Max Bolotov has a slight advantage in this fight. I mean that he steps forward. Oh, that was a good counter from Konstantin. Nice right swing. Max Bolotov shouldn't give his hips, shouldn't give his legs because Konstantin Glukov, he doesn't throw many punches, but all of them are just powerful. And look at that. Konstantin Gluchov did a very good thing because he hit uh, his, uh, his opponent leg underneath the knee, into the ankle, into the ankle. So uh, if we remember some MMA fights and if you remember what kind of low kicks they use there and there will be a tremendous number of the low kicks that are being thrown just into the ankle because the muscle the muscle of the ankle is uh, uh, is less than the hip of course and it's uh, it's easier to to beat it to shoot it See here some exchanges. I hope that Max Boldov will not get injured after that leg kick. I guess he's not. So the fight continues. Two experienced heavyweights are here in the ring. Max Bolotov wearing red gloves versus Konstantin Gluchov wearing blue gloves. Oh, nice head kick by Konstantin Gluchov but it was actually blocked by Max Bolotov. 
And once again, down goes Konstantin, but he just lost his balance, not because of, because of the strong and heavy shot. Bolotov changes the stance. Oh, nice, nice head kick from the left by Max Bolotov with a fin and a body shot from Moldavian fighter. And another one to the liver. And we hear the Russian fans cheering Konstantin Gluchov, just like he said. There are lots of fans in Russia of him. Despite of him representing Russia, oh, Latvia, <laughs> Latvia, of course. Nice defensive move by Max Bolotov. And here we go. Several power shots from the Moldavian fighter, but none of them landed. So far, we see very few clear, good, strong shots. Max Bolotov steps forward, a body shot from Konstantin Gluchov. Another combination from Moldavian fighter. So far, the tempo of the fight is is pretty low. A push kick from Max to the body. A nice, nice, very nice inside low kick by Max Bolotov. But after that shot, Konstantin Gluchov grabbed his opponent leg and made a counter. And referee Mokhorlamov saw that and made a warning. I'm not sure that he deducted the point from Konstantin Gluchov, but I think it was the last warning for him of not doing that. Max Bolotov changes stands on a good connection by Moldavian. Whoa! Max Bolotov has almost lost his balance after changing the stance and his attack. But happily for him, Konstantin Gluchov didn't have enough opportunities to punish him for that mistake. 15 seconds of a very close fight. Round number two is about to finish. And so far we didn't see any solid shots from both of the fighters. What a miss by Konstantin Glukov. And once again, he tried to grab a leg after an inside low kick. End of the second round. Well, if the, the same situation, if we will see the same situation in the additional rounds, it will be a very hard job for the judges to decide who is the winner, who was the strongest in this fight. And we see here a good connection with the right hook by Konstantin Gluchov. Third round. I remind you that according to TNA World Cup rules, if there will be no knockdown, there will be an additional round. In this last sixth, last 16 bout of the tournament, another push kick by Max Polotov. And, uh, and once again, a low kick straight into the ankle of Konstantin Glukov. And if you see the left ankle and the uh, redness and the blueness, maybe the blackness of uh, the left ankle of uh, Max Bolotov, I think that is the main reason he changed the stance because uh, his left leg hurts. Nice body shot by Konstantin. Another right swing by the left hand and a good jab from uh, Max Bolotov. Konstantin Gluchov making feints, steps forward, coming forward. He wants to attack. Oh, look at that low kick. A massive low kick by Konstantin Gluchov. And uh, 
knees collision, I think it was here, but none of the fighters reacted. It's hard even to see uh, Max Volotov's ankle. Hard shots from Konstantin Glochov, but all of them were beautifully blocked by Max Bolotov. Thus far, the tempo is still not really high. And we see very few good shots from both of them. Oh, that could be very dangerous. A nice high kick by, um, by Konstantin Glukov. And I think that Max Bolotov has got a little bit stunned after that. One minute to go in the third. And uh, Max Polotov's uh, legs got a little bit clipped because uh, I think that just because of the pain in the ankle, I think so. Several swings from Max Polotov. Oh, nice counter from Konstantin Gluchov. Good right hand and jumping knee from Max Bolotov, who actually forgot about his head kicks, about his body shots. Because he's fe he feels the pain. That is the most reason. And, and another very dangerous high kick from Konstantin. <laughs> End of the third round, and we are going to have an additional extra round. And after that round, we are going to find out who will advance to the quarterfinal. And we see a beautiful liver shot by Konstantin Glukov here. And now we are about to have the decisive. Decisive fourth round. And after that, we're going to stick to, to the light weight, the 70 kilogram division. Round number four. Let's go. And uh, as far as I can see, Konstantin Gluchov decided to shoot the body because he realized that the previous shots were quite good and they hurt the opponent. So why not to uh, why not to continue? Another another shot from the left by Konstantin Gluchov, but actually to knock out your opponent with a jab. Uh, I've met only two fighters who were able to do that. Sergei Kovalev and uh, Artem Vahitov. One of uh, them is a brilliant boxer, the champion of the world. Oh! I hope that Max Bolotov slipped a little bit after that. After that, have a shot from Konstantin Gluchev. And uh, I will remind you once again that he's got dynamite in his hands and good. Good head kick from the left by Max Bolotov, but not good enough. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic wheel kick by Konstantin Gluchev. And down goes Max Bolotov. Oh, my goodness, what a knockout. And of course, the referee Mohorlamov waves, waves to the doctors that should hurry up into the ring. And a magnificent, magnificent wheel kick by Konstantin Gluhov. Oh my goodness. Actually, uh, Max Bolotov is a friend of mine, so it's really hard for me to see that. But look at this. Look at this, oh my goodness. Look at uh, Max Bolotov's left leg. Actually, he was falling down unconscious and uh, I think that his left leg was also hurt. Damn. <laughs> Andrei Sviarov is watching uh, the, president, uh, the president of the TNA World Cup. 
Uh, Max Boltov is still on the canvas. And uh, I think that he might need an additional help. Uh, maybe... I don't know how to comment it, ladies and gentlemen, but uh, you see it by your own. And the audience, the audience, the spectators actually helped Max Bolotov uh, to get out of the ring. Всегда, когда происходит такой нокаут, даже ты выиграл, ты попал. Konstantin Gluchov says that he worries a lot for his opponent. He didn't want to hurt him that much. And I know that it really hurts. It really hurts for the opponents. I would like to thank my sponsor. I would like to congratulate my corner. He has got birthday today.